Hey guys, welcome back, welcome back, John Megacycle here, another episode of Command & Conquer General Zero Hour. have another challenge for you today, the $20,000 Random Challenge. Uh, the trick of this one is, well, let me, as the title would state, $20,000, two random opponents, uh, I can be whoever I want, but uh, let me go through the other rules real quick. Um, I cannot use general promotion abilities. Not one. I can't spend the credits. I can't use any abilities. No general promotions. So I'm thinking pretty tough on this one. I, I have to really determine what's going to be the best considering I always love the GLA for their cash bounty. Um, the United States is A-10's my favorite general promotion hands down. Uh, China with their promotion abilities making their tank stronger. Uh, artillery, mines, all that stuff really puts me at end, so I really need to think carefully on who I want to be. Um, I'm kind of leaning towards immediately the United States because they're so utilitarian and diverse, that sort of thing, but I'm leaning again towards the Chinese infantry. GLA Toxin would also be pretty cool. So this one, this one kind of puts me at ends. I'm not really too sure who I want to be for this one. Um, I think I'm going to be the Super Weapon General. Uh, we're going to keep limit super weapons on. I'm going to allow myself to build one super weapon. It was not mentioned in the rules. Uh, actually, you know what? I'll be the super weapon general. I won't build a single super weapon. How about that? We'll add to that. Um, so we'll just take that off in case we get nuke general or I'm up against a super weapon general myself. So, yeah, and I'm changing the rules in my head. Okay, there it is. 20,000 uh, bucks. The enemy can build super weapons as much as they want or as they will. I'll be super weapon general. I won't build any and no general promotion so uh, yes please and here we go what's the story make my own road. so I played this uh, as my one versus two map often I just want to get that out of there a um, couple of oil derricks in the northeast Let's there's a supply the stash in the south the southeast job. in relation to us and northwest stop Sorry, I can't build there. Gonna get a barracks or two up. Want to make sure that we hunker that down immediately. Loud and clear. Also make want another barracks road. down here. I like to have one or two I'm barracks, shot. considering it's crucial Let's to the tech build. tree. Um, I really hate it when my one barracks goes kaput. All loud and clear. All Wanna finished. make some improvements? What's the story? All finished. Got my missile can't launcher right there, here. Sir. Got my missile launcher right here. What's the mission, sir? Got my missile okay, launcher very good. right here. Hey, let's All build. Finish. What's the mission, sir? Got my missile launcher right here. Lay in the foundation. Okay, I know I haven't my built my economy right yet, but I'm kind of scrambling to get some of this other stuff online. Okay, there's that. Next up. What's the mission, sir? Going up. What's the story? What's the mission, sir? I'm gonna come over What's here and capture that supply stash. Yep, they're already showing up. Ready for action. What's the mission, sir? Okay, we have United Army States of some sort. I should actually figure out who the heck I'm up against. Uh, United States Laser General. That could be interesting. Let's pop some tanks. Sure thing. Yeah, finished. On the job. Always ready. Want to make some improvements? Let's find a better place. Bring on the scaffolding. Ready for Okay, we were low on cashing money, but that will not be a problem in a second. Let me launch one, huh? All finished. Yeah. Okay, I do want airfields. Going up. Any more projects? Comanches are gonna be an excellent installation or an excellent uh, addition. Oh. GLA. Alright. We have to back off a bit here. On the job. They will probably the take that out, but Ready for action. What's the story? we will survive. I'm not too Good worried. Area. Our base is under attack. Yep. Unfortunately, they came in a bit rushy, so that's going to give me enough time to get some defenses down there I'll without too much of a problem. Yeah. Uh, if it was a little heavier vehicle, I'd bother with a missile lock, but I'm not going to. Let's hey, build. talking to you. Loud and clear. Come over here. Special forces More money, here. absolutely. For Didn't forget about you guys. Construction. Any more They're attacking our base. Some yep, that's gonna happen. 
Okay. This is what I wanted. These guys are going to do great against Air these uh, scorpion the tanks. Frequency's open. Building capture complete. We have their building. Very good. Army's elite. Want you guys over here? We need to capture up this Unit artillery platform. Oh crap! Was that a dozer? Yes, sir. That one's done. Always ready. Infantry is there. Thank you. This map can turn from crazy to insane in seconds if you're not playing it correctly or you have a bunch of GLA rushing you. Congratulations, General. You have been promoted. Okay, I just want that icon out of the way. Let's see specifically who we're up against. Demolition field. General. Ugh. To new AO. That's going to be a pain in the, be a pain in the rump. Alright, well, we've got some aircraft. Let's actually do a little bit of damage here. We should be able to take that out without yes, an sir. issue. Making a sweep. Yeah, it's too far away from their base anyhow. The thing that would make this challenge just a ton easier would be some pathfinders. Wanna make some improvements? In the field. Right here. Got my missile launcher right here. Got my missile launcher right here. Got my missile launcher yeah. right here. Congratulations, General. We have been promoted. Unit lost. Got my missile launcher right here. Got my missile launcher right here. Let me launch one. Make sure we have a good mix of infantry in addition to uh, the actual hardened structures we have, considering, as you can see here, the structures aren't doing that great against infantry, so we're going to have a few of those things out. We're also going to complement our Patriots with fire bases. These are artillery-based platforms that are going to help out against lighter units. Uh, yep, can't spend those. Oh man, that's such a buzzkill. <laughs> uh, let's see here. I'm going to do a bit heavy air force. Let's do rocket pods, countermeasures. It's going to make sure our planes last a lot longer. Um, I would like another dozer. We need to start getting the strategy centers, what we're working on. And then in addition to that, I want to make sure that we've got... Oh, lost a Derek. Shoot. I want to make sure that we've got... Uh, what was I even thinking? I also want to come over here and reaffirm the north. But what was I saying? Oh, I want to make sure that the very second we're ready, we can start cranking out some uh, supply stashes. Bring on the scaffolding. Gunship reporting in. Ooh, can't and do let's that. do a power you check once lost. I deploy that. Uh, yeah, we're good. Super Weapon General has an amazing amount of power creation, so I'm not too worried about that. It's going to be a little while until these guys figure out um, long range before we start to see tomahawks and stuff like that. So that's another reason why I wanted the Comanches out, because we can respond a lot quicker yes, with some Air Force. Now, the rules stipulate I cannot use any general's abilities. Oh, yep, thanks, I forgot. Bad reminder when your opponent has to tell you when to change your strategy center. Because I forgot to in the first place. Anyhow, um, it says I'm not allowed to use general abilities. It does not say I'm not allowed to use structure abilities. So, the intelligence ability of our strategy center is allowed, I would assume. Yes, sir. I think I see an opening. This is an opening. Hit. Come down here. Nope. Stop. Moving to new AO. Well, that's not a good sign. Could have sworn I had that mapped pretty nicely. Especially with power plants, it's a smart idea to keep these things spread out. There's absolutely no benefit to clumping them all together. And the reason for that is if the enemy is doing airstrikes or anything heavy, it's very important that they don't just devastate all your stuff in a heartbeat. Uh, you want to make sure they've got to work for it. You know, I saw some Avengers. Unit lost. Congratulations, General. You have been Ouch. That was an expensive mistake. Enemy Colonel Burton detected. But we have money now. Yes, go away. Let's build. I have to be a little more careful with my aircraft. Unit lost. Oh, sign in for this. Okay, I want you guys over here. Clocked in. This goes there. Since the bridge is here, I'm assuming they're gonna have to come through here to get at the supply center. The Patriots will get a healthy stab at them first, so I'm not too worried about it. 
Lost another oil, Derek. Oh, you lucky little son of a gun. Okay. That's fine. Supply stashes also equally spread out. We don't want one nuke to take out our economy, or one scud storm, or one patriot. Okay, this is exactly what I was saying. I don't see any anti-air here. Let's verify. Agreed. Now we can bring in the Comanche. Done deal. Retreat. Nice way to clean up. Enemy Jarman Kell detected. Oh, Jarman Kell. If we can get that civilian structure back up, I would be much obliged. Much appreciated. Good area. Okay. Still got a little more cashy money. Gonna get a few more Comanches going on. These guys are gonna be absolutely critical against the United States. All we have to do is worry about their electricity. Once we do that, we should be able to hammer these guys out pretty quick. Speaking of which... No defenses. Okay, a lot of Avengers. Yeah, a lot of Avengers. Okay. We're going to have to deal with that. The way we're going to deal with that is the Aurora Alpha Bombers. How are we doing around here? You're building? No, you've been sniped. Yeah, I totally do. Thank you. That civilian structure, most of these civilian structures are very heavily armored, so keeping them up to date is certainly something I'm interested in doing. Yes, sir. Air cover's on the way. Okay, I'm not confident that's going to end the way I want it to, so if you don't mind. Thank you. Barely dinged up the paint. Air cover's on the way. Always prepared. Yes, sir. In the field. What's the story? Now another thing that the super weapon general will use, uh, yeah, I can talk. The another thing the super weapon general will use often yes, are tomahawks, and we haven't really built any sort of vehicles at all. Let's get two more dozers out here. In the field. I need a, I need a war factory. I need another airport. I need some more supply drops. Always supply drops. Always have enough supply drops. No reason not to. Again, fire bases. There we go. Okay. Oopsie daisy. That's not what I wanted. Okay. Yeah, get to work on that. Uh, yes. War factory. Airport. Working on these Aurora Alpha Bombers. These things are amazing. Uh, the rule with these supersonic fighters, if you're not familiar, or supersonic bombers, they take no damage until they release their payload at their target. Once they do, then they take full damage and their speed is reduced to half. So they are very, very powerful. You can attack super weapons across the other side of the map without worry. The thing you do have to be worried about is assuming you want them back home alive, because that might not happen. Yes, sir. Actually, we're going to send our Aurora. Aurora Alpha Bomber. This will make very quick work of this guy. Now, the Aurora Alpha Bombers drop miniature fuel air bombs, which makes these things terribly potent against infantry and other loose vehicles. Let's see. Very interested in Tomahawks. That's queued up. That's queued up. What's the story? Unit lost. Lay in the foundation. Now the super weapon general I think was a pretty nice how in the heck are you hitting that? The Patriots have a weird targeting bug that happens a little too often. But I don't know how to replicate it or trigger it or whatever. But anyhow. Pushing the envelope. Okay, we have our Aurora Alpha Bombers. These things are going to be just amazing. So let's take a quick look at what we've got. They have some airports. They have some power. They have a ton of Avengers. That's going to be our problem. I don't want to throw in these $2,000 aircraft. I'm just going to lose them. But looks like they're doing the same. Yep. So now they'll take damage instantly because we have the EMPs. 
Yeah, well, EMPs knock airplanes right just right out of the sky. There's no question about it. Let's find a better place. High speed bomber ready for takeoff. Okay, I need another airport. Good there area. we go. New construction. Okay, my general rule of thumb Always is if you're sitting ready. on your duff and you got the cash, you got the time. So let's go ahead and beef Throw up some up. of our defenses. Layer it a little thicker, oh, right, make sure it's fine. dense in areas that we don't yeah, have any, lost. make sure it's properly outfitted, that sort of a thing. Okay, quads, not too worried about that. What do we have here? Workers, are you serious? We just really need like one Comanche sitting right there. Unit lost. Warning, particle cannon detected. Fly and low. Upgrade complete. Yes, sir. Long range Comanche here. Nav system say more projects. Okay, I don't know if you guys can hear that. There's a lawnmower going like two feet away from my door, so give me just a second. Unit lost. I apologize for that, but I didn't think you guys wanted to hear a lawnmower for the next however long this mission takes. Yes, sir. Okay, more Alpha Bombers. What's the story? Super Weapon General is known for these things. Uh, even the Air Force General only gets Aurora Bombers, not Aurora Alpha Bombers. So they're even more potent. Everyone's tagged. More power. More supply. More defense. Are we getting outranged? Anything damaged? Quick, quick gut checks. That's important. You don't want to leave an area just assuming that it's well guarded. Now, that particle cannon is something we have to deal with immediately. So, we have a ton of Aurora Alpha Bombers. Let's see what they've got for defense. Bunch of Avengers. Let's at least get our Auroras in the sky. Let's do one quick pass. Take on an Avenger, the airport, and some other fun stuff. There's that. Unit lost. Okay, we lost two. We'll have to take that out next. Yep, we lost two. Not really worth the loss. Like, I don't really like losing units. So these tomahawks are going to be a nice kicker. We also need something to support the tomahawks. A few Avengers. A bunch of Humvees and the tow missile upgrade is going to be quite helpful. Are you not there? Now the good thing is we've limited our losses pretty heavily, so we haven't been subject to their general powers, which has also been excellent. Okay, a bunch of Tomahawks to boot. Got my missile launcher right here. Need you guys down here. Very good. Wanna make some improvements? Let's build. Bring on the scaffolding. No reason not to build a ton of extra supply drops, and we have more than enough power to boot. Okay, let's get our command orders back in order. I usually do these guys in groups of three because that ensures I'm going to absolutely devastate whatever's in the way. The last thing I need is a power plant or something not damaged, and having too many control keys is a little a little much for me. So, everyone in the air, let's do a quick run here. I think we can do that and that. And then we're going to send you guys back here. We're going to take out some of the Avenger nonsense and a power plant. Offline, very good. That's exactly what I was hoping for. Oof da! Did that take care of all that crap? Enemy Colonel Burton detected. Brilliant. That was brilliant. That's exactly what I wanted to happen. Okay, Humvees. I'll fire at anything. Since Humvees do allow infantry to shoot out of them, make these guys a really nice support unit. Now I'm not too worried about GLA. We've been keeping an eye on on them. They have not done long range anymore. So we're gonna concentrate heavily on the United States at the moment. Yeah. Very good. Let's get everyone in order. First of all, our actual attackers up front. I mean, Humvees being our attackers kind of sounds silly, but we don't really have tanks. I mean, we don't as a super weapon general. Everyone alive? Good. I'm 
I'm sure a plane exploded overhead that just looked really weird. Another bombing run, if we could. That will permanently disable them. They'll have nothing left, and we have our cleanup forces here to finish up what's left. Oh my gosh, that is so awesome. Now, the trick is here is we want to concentrate on not power plant, not power consuming structures or vehicles. We want to make sure these guys stay in the dark. So we'll concentrate on power plants, supply, production, that sort of thing. Because we don't want these turrets to come back online. Unit lost. Arming cruise missile. Right now I don't think they even have any power plants. They have the one power plant back there. But I'm not worried about that. The thing about Humvees is if the Humvee dies, or the vehicle explodes, the infantry inside expire as well. So that's why I don't mind getting these guys out of the str out of the vehicle. Okay, we're gonna let that clean itself up. Now, we did lose an Aurora Alpha Bomber, that sucks. This guy's just not doing much. I think he just went dumb. 245, everyone in the sky. Let's see what we've got. No anti-air. 4-5, knock that. 2, knock that. Welcome, Wagon! <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, okay, where the crap is my army? Here it is. Let's move in. Just put you guys on guard there. I have no worries about that. Now we're sitting on, as usual, a ton of cash. It's time to make sure that we're not just lazy about it. Uh, as I've said in every single video I think I've ever done, is always play as if you're losing. And that means keep building armies, keep defending yourself, keep bunkering up. Last thing we need is some super weapon or something, some sneak attack or something to come around the corner and we're not looking and we're not prepared. That's how people lose. Oh, we can repair that civilian structure. Could use some attention. Watch this, all that rocket, he's just gonna come right through. Run. Run. Run, guys. Thank you. Holy cows. Okay, we can just leave you guys there. Everyone in the sky? I like to get everyone in the sky first because then that ensures everyone arrives at the target at the same time. So here's this. Oh, lots of crazy. Okay, one, two, three, four. Three. Let's try that. That wiped out all the units, but we lost some good troops in that. In the field. Aurora in flight. Lost one. Ouch. Gunship reporting in. Breaking the sound barrier. Two and three in the sky. Gunship reporting in. That's the one problem with so many of these stinger sites. They don't just go offline. Breaking the sound barrier. Delivering payload. Standing by for four and United States has sold out, has been defeated. So they work really well if you're just going over one stinger site. But when you're going up against multiple, it gets really difficult unless you disable or destroy them all at the same time. Oh yeah, that dude's toast. Let's let you guard up now. They were so generous, they did not take their oil derricks. So what we're going to do is we're going to monopolize and start constructing a second base. Really at this point, is it worthwhile? I don't really think so. But the point is, again, we want to make sure that we spread out our assets as much as we can. We don't want to clump it all in just one tight area and say that's it. Holy crap, look at all this. This is nuts. Designation set. Nav system set. Radar won't pick us up. Tomahawk systems online. We can launch from there. High speed bomber ready for takeoff. 
That's a lot of stinger. I don't have nearly enough Avengers for that. Let's just loop right back into the front where we were attacking in the first place. Yeah. Want to make some improvements? Any more projects? Have a job for me? Loud and clear. I always like building secondary bases, uh, just as a rule of thumb for me. Uh, whenever I am in this kind of a position, I'll certainly attempt to, even if it's just like have this power plant, some supply, an airport, maybe one or two defensive structures, just to have something there. If my main base gets overrun, I'm going to need capability to produce additional units, and if I can't do that, that really puts me in a tricky, tricky spot. Okay, have to be careful with these Humvees. They're just going to dash into combat, and that's going to put them in a tough situation. So just get everyone in guard mode, let everyone clump up real nice, and that way we'll attempt to attack at the same time. Made in the USA. Good area. Unit lost. projects. Always ready. I'm the job. All finished. Have a job for me. There, nice little base. It'll produce its own money, it'll produce its own electricity. If my main base gets assaulted, we'll have another place or another source for power. It'll look out real nice. Yeah, we'll be able to finish these guys just with this. That's done. Put you guys in guard mode? Oh, no, that's gotta go. You're about to get destroyed. Just like that. That's how you save them. Granted, you can't always do that considering how hectic things are. Who needs veteran to see? You look like you do. Yeah, the only thing that would make this absolutely flawless is some Pathfinders, but this is working out pretty nice, I think. Yeah, that's toast. Okay, what we're going to do now is we're going to give our Aurora Alpha Bombers a little bit of redemption here. I need one, two, three, and I have an Aurora Alpha Bomber flying somewhere. I don't know where. So here's how I do this. Probably not as efficient as it could be, but we have a crap ton of stinger sights. One, two, three, four. But actually, before we do that, let's get everyone in the air first. That way they'll reach our target at the same time. So here's how this goes. One, two, three, four, five. They'll reach the targets. All are disabled. No losses. For the United States, it's far easier, because all you really have to do is just knock them offline. Oh, hey. Yeah. Over there? Didn't you find the vehicle I told you to before? Bomber ready for Good. You got a story to tell your kids. Just tons. Tons and tons. I don't, I don't have any idea where that bomber is. Yeah, the one thing that I really don't care about the United States is this. Is all these money crates just sitting here. It's actually really cool if you want to trade, or at least give resources to your ally, because they could just show up and take it. But the thing that's a pain in the butt is it's money I'm not making. Let's get everyone on this side in the air first. Four, five, six in the air. Give them a second to get up there, then four, five, and six. Again, ensuring everyone reaches their target at the same time. These Aurora Alpha Bombers are absolutely ridiculous against Standing light infantry, small vehicles, that kind of a thing. Lightly armored structures just get annihilated. Flight systems activated. Come on in. Why don't you wait for the rest of the party, huh? <laughs> awesome. Oh, I love that these things only have one shell. They're quick to recharge. Entering coordinates. Let's build. Yep, and now we have a whole nother base. 
Having an extra base like that can really throw enemies for a loop, because they're, if they're concentrating so heavily on your main base, they won't bother to look anywhere else. You can use that opportunity to generate more resources, like I, like I said, gives us a little more room to deploy troops if we need. Holy crap. <laughs> What's left, this one guy? Oh, and a GLA hole. Uh, awesome. How about a lift? Yeah, they're not cracking this fortress, that's for sure. And there we go. You are victorious. With fifty thousand dollars darn near to spare. Not too shabby. Minimal losses on our side as well. This is well over what what is this? Fifteen? Right about quite a bit. This is good win loss ratio. No. A little, little shy of 10, maybe. 12? Whatever. Um, played it heavy on the defensive. That's totally what sold it for us. Because we lost so few units, the enemy did not get their general abilities, which didn't put us at a disadvantage. So actually, this was pretty evenly matched. If we were getting carpet bombed by the Chinese, or a 10 by the Americans, or wh whatever, I mean, this could have really been a problem, and we would have been at a very heavy military disadvantage. But... Heavy on the economy, that $20,000 really gave us a nice kick. We were able to pull it off, no problem. So, thanks for the challenge, thanks for watching guys, I appreciate it, and I hope to see you next time.